Hello, today we'll be taking a look at how to change uh, Linksys router from WPA over to WEP encryption. Now, this might be intended for anyone that had their router set up for them before and they're not too comfortable working with it. This is for you. This router is currently completely stock, completely default settings, except for the fact that I've already set it up for WPA networks. So I'm going to go ahead, take my web browser, and just type in 192.168.1.1 in the address bar, hit enter, and normally it would ask me for a login, if it does, you know, the by default the username is blank, just type nothing in, and the password is admin. Uh, on newer model routers for Linksys, the username might also be admin, so keep that in mind. So here we are, we're just on the basic setup page. I'm going to zoom in so everyone can see a little better. I'm going to click on wireless. I'm just going to load the page. I'm going to move over to the wireless security tab. And here we are. We can see I'm already set up for WPA personal and my key is, this is my key. So I'm going to click on security mode, change that over to WEP. All right, and here we are. I'm going to stick with 64 bits, 10 hex digits. Uh, hex digits would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, or A, B, C, D, E, F. And I'm going to use 10 digits. You can either use a passphrase, hello there, click generate, and hey, here we are. We have a key that was made just from a phrase. Or you can just go ahead and create the key yourself. On uh, some newer models, it might show four keys here with a selection at the bottom asking you for a key to pick. I'm just going to assume that we're going to work with key one and that key one is selected if you have those options. So let's go ahead with that. Uh, my key will be, I just want a really simple key right here, but uh, go ahead and use something creative, something that can't be easily guessed. Uh, so I'm just going to go with something that can be easily guessed. Please don't copy me. This is really bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Sure, sounds good. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so no one's connecting to this. So I'm going to click Save Settings. All right. Now, I'm connected wirelessly using my Mac Mini, so the page isn't going to load, confirming that I've made the changes. And I need to reconnect to my router, this time with new connection settings. So let's move over. If you're on a Windows box, you'll need to do this as well. Just do it through... Uh, the means that you do it on Windows, be it XP or Windows 7. And here we are, we can see it requires a WEP password now. I'm going to type in my password. I'm going to type it in correctly because I'm making mistakes because I'm talking at the same time. Okay, clicked OK. And I'm going to go back to 192.168.1.1 on my router. All right, I'm going to give it a moment, and here we are, it loaded back up. I'm connected again, this time through WEP, and everything's good. So you're going to need to do that. You're going to need to reconnect any computer that uh, connected wirelessly to the router beforehand. You'll need to go around and just reconnect with them. Uh, anything hooked up wired, there won't be any problems or any changes right there. And you might be asking yourself, you know, why would I even do this in the first place? WPA is better. Uh, one simple reason. Playing a Nintendo DS online, you cannot do that with WPA, you need WEP. The new DSi model does accept WPA for some things, but not for playing online DS games, which kind of sucks, but there you go. So I hope you uh, were able to use this, and hey, Godspeed.